pour a little more glue in this one. And now we get to choose the colors. But, uh, I got all these bottles on disdie.com and at Michael's from different sources and so I think these are Michael's bottles of for, with acetone in them and then these are plastic bottles but they still work. They're from the disc dyeing website and they've been in here for a month and a half now, no problems. Alright, so if we start with tumbleweed or dillo. I say tumbleweed and dillo and the white ones. So, got our glue bed. We've got our dyes. Now this time I've chosen three neons. Let's see an orange, a yellow, and a green. And they shine bright under this UV. It's yellow especially. This orange is pretty cool. And you want one non-neon, so there's actually this reddish pink in here that will be a nice one to mix through it. Either way, it's a pinkish white disc, which in Bravo plastic is really gummy. This is going to dye really nicely. I can really tell that this is one of the nicer feeling plastics I've felt. Well done Lone Star. This is going to be really freaking cool. We've got a different utensil this time though for mixing. We've got a wire brush. So tumbleweed. We want green in the middle, probably. So you can drop, you can plan out your design now. So you do green in the middle, let it spread, and then on the outside you can do your other colors and then we'll, we'll see. covers about a tumbleweed size of of it. It'll stay about that same area. I'm gonna add to it later. Uh, let's see, this is the pinkish red. We'll do like quadrants. Oh, it's a purple. Now it's turning red. That's cool. Oh, I bet this is the neon royal purple. That's why it looked red under the UV. It's gotta be the royal purple. I can see the red and blue in there to make the purple. Yellow you can't see right now, but you, you'll be able to see once we die. Maybe you can see, I can barely see it though. Yeah, this would be pretty cool. Maybe you can't see the yellow now. It's starting to mature. Like it didn't start out very dark. Section for the green bottom. All 
All right, tumbleweed. Once I figure out the design, is going in that bed. Start from the middle. Do a swirl. That went pretty smoothly. So you got a nice swirly like that. With our tumbleweed. That's gonna be cool now. It was actually opaque, so as I laid it down, I could see the glue. Go all the way flush with the disc. So that's good. The Dillo will be nice. I've got a Caribbean blue, I've got a pinkish red, and this one is a neon pink. Just gonna use these three colors though. Might be a little saturated neon pink, but that one's the one that glows, so. Well, it doesn't glow, it, it shines in the UV. Yeah, I'll do figure eights. Kind of. That's all right. I don't know if it'll actually work on the Dillo. Glows. That one's got nothing. Yeah, I gotta heat that up. plan is to have the Lone Star disc in the blue and red area over here. We've got a bag of rice for the tumbleweed. Sink down a little bit. And the heat lamp. And here they will sit and warm up. And the third one on the heat lamp area. 
with a rice bag for good measure. It's a dillo. It has a little, uh, puddle top, so you never know if all the ink actually gets into all the crevices. It should. Alright, these will all sit here for probably three hours under the heat lamp and then overnight without the heat. I, that's the method I've been using and it's turned out great so far. So I will catch you in the next one where I reveal it. All right, and now here is the tumbleweed getting pulled out. Grab an edge. It's all gonna be stuck. Now, mind you, these have been sitting for about 12 hours at this point. And, ooh. Just gotta be able to get to one part of that edge and then it all just comes right off. And then some hot water. Man, that one came out crazy too. It's gonna look cool under black light. And here's the Dillo reveal. D I L L O. It sounds so strange to say Dillo. Ooh. Ho ho ho. Cold water first. Some warm water. All right. For the most part, I'd say they're all pretty solid. All right, I will. See you in a minute. I'll check what these look like under the UV light and show you as well. And the Dillo. Uh, I think that's pretty cool looking though. Under UV though, however. Woo! Isn't that... So normally, it's a cool looking disc either way, whether under UV or normal. And that is the Dillo. Alright, here's the tumbleweed. Turned out pretty solid too. All those swirls, nice light color. This one's UV is a little different though. By different, I mean awesome. Look at that fire in the bottom. That's pretty cool. Thank you for joining me. This was Arctic Cats Disc Golf. One of my first few times ever trying uh, dying on, on film. I've disc dying since September of last year, so 2022. So it's been three months of me doing this and 
I love it so far. When I can't play disc golf in the snow, I will die discs all day long.